Hey everybody, Kelly Atchison at estampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. It is Sunday, June 23rd, 2019. And I'm telling you that because I had a person who asked me if I would please say the dates in my videos. I think maybe so she can go to my blog and look stuff up. Um, could be. Bev, you're the first one on tonight, followed closely by Sharon and Beth. Hi, you guys. Welcome. We've got another Sharon popping in. We've got two Sharons. Darlis, welcome. Hi, Jody. I hope you guys are having a fabulous Sunday. Um, my Sunday was pretty good. I slept in. Whew, that was nice. And then I took my bike ride down the lake over to the um, nature preserve and walked my big long walk around the outside of it. I saw... I think three deer and some giant birds. I don't know what kind they were. You know, the ones with the long legs. And um, and a pair of Canadian geese with a whole bunch of little babies swimming. So they were all like in a little line. Like they had their own little army. It was really cute. <laughs> yeah, so I did that. And what else? Oh, then Haley and Jared popped in. And you you guys know Haley is getting married. If you got my newsletter... Um, I had a typo in there. I said Haley's wedding date was August 8th. It's the 3rd. I've been getting questions from people. Did Haley change her wedding date? No, I just had a typo. Um, so Haley stopped over today and she was looking a tad bit frazzled. And I was in the middle of getting ready for tonight. Sundays are always kind of super busy for me. And um, I took one look at her and then like, it's time for mama mode and mama needs to drop everything and help my child. And that's exactly what I did. So we got all the RSVPs printed out. I got them all cut for her. Um, we got some wedding plans figured out. I think she's feeling a little less uh, stressed, maybe, I hope. She, she looked kind of like a little disaster. <laughs> don't tell her, I don't think she's on here. <laughs> But I was like, oh, hi, honey. <laughs> so, yeah, I think she's um, she's she, she's not happy about her wedding dress, um, something with the neckline. And she's wondering if she can take it down just a little bit because it's going to kind of mess around with her necklace that she always wears. And her necklace is a wedding ring from it's my father's, her grandfather's wedding band. And she wears that on a chain on her neck. And it is very precious to her. And she wants it to be very prominent on her wedding day. And ugh, her dress kind of comes up with some lacy stuff. So she's like, do you think we could take that out of there? And I'm like, oh my God. In my head, I'm going, oh. Now, mind you guys, I used to be quite a seamstress. Like, I made all my clothes. Um, I can sew just about anything. I do not, however, like alterations. I hate them. Hate them. So, I told her, I'm sure we can figure it out. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Mom! Look at you guys. My mom's on here. Karen Flynn. She says, have a good show tonight. Thanks, Mom. I appreciate it. Um, so, anyways... We have some altering to do to the dress. So if any of you guys are local and you know somebody who does alterations, I will gladly pay to have somebody do the alterations to her dress versus me doing them just because I don't like to do them. And that's not my skill. My skill is to make clothing, um, or at least I used to. So anyways, yeah. <laughs> So I dropped everything and we got the stuff done and we got the details figured out for the wedding and what we still need to shop for, for the decorations and all that great stuff. Um, so I think she's feeling a little better. She still doesn't have her invitations in the mail yet, but um, I think her and Jared are going to work on them tonight and tomorrow and they will be out in the mail. So thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys had a great Sunday. That was my Sunday. That's what I did today. And I just squeezed my hand. I um, smashed my hand. You see, it's going to be all purple right here. I know it doesn't look like anything, but it really hurts. And it's making my hand shake now. I smashed it coming up the stairs on this little cabinet in the hallway. And I smashed it enough that it like broke the skin and started 
um, bleeding and I just ran into the thing. You know, when you get going fast and you're just, nah, I don't have time. <laughs> so everybody's saying hi to my mom. Thanks, you guys. <laughs> yeah, so Lori says, you can do anything, Kelly Atchison. Yeah, I know I can, but I would rather not. It's just not my skill set. I know I can do it. And if I have to, I will. But um, I'd almost rather go buy her another dress. <laughs> you know, isn't that terrible? No, I'm just kidding. Like, they're expensive. And uh, I did that, and that's over with. <laughs> We've already got the dress. So anyways, I wanted to share with you guys um, some cards that I got in the mail this week. I have a beautiful card from Angie Fair Fairburn. Look at how pretty this is. Isn't that just gorgeous? I love that pop of gold back behind here. And um, Angie sent me a card saying, thank you for allowing me to enjoy your awesome videos. Love watching them and sharing with my crafting friends. That is so sweet of you, Angie. Thank you so much. What a pretty card. I've got to display that back here. I've still got cards here from last week too. And um, is there still spots showing on my shirt, you guys? So I sprayed my hair with some stuff and it kind of sprinkled on my shirt and then it wouldn't go away. I was like, well, there's a lesson learned. You don't sprinkle till after. No, you put, yeah, put your shirt on after you sprinkle, right? <laughs> All right, I have another card to share with you. And this one is from Claudia. And Claudia, I'm not sure how to say your last name, but I'm going to say Pigeon. Or Pidone. I think it's maybe French. Um, super pretty card. I love what she did with that, that um, leaf ribbon down here, right? Isn't that pretty? And Claudia sent me a card. First of all, she sent me a little recipe for pumpkin fluff dip. Thank you very much, Claudia, because I love dips and stuff like that. And it says, thank you, Kelly, for everything you've given me and taught me. Also, I love your positive attitude and your corny jokes. <laughs> so you are very welcome, Claudia. Thank you for liking my corny jokes. <laughs> All right, I'm going to set that back here. Oh, while I'm back here, you guys see this pile of stuff back here? Yeah. So I shared a picture the other day of Molly. Um, oops, she's my granddaughter. Hang on, I dropped one. And um, she was, I had her working on the big shot die cutting stuff for me. Well, she didn't last too long. She got bored really quick this time. And um, so Steve came in my office and he said, hey, Molly's like, I think she's tired. She doesn't want to do this, but I can do it for you. I'm like, what? So look at this pile of die cuts, you guys. Steve cut out all of these for me. And this is that, um, oh, geez. <laughs> this is the um, peacock. So this is going to be my swap card for my trip to Greece. Um, Stampin' Up! always puts on swaps for us on these on these incentive trips. So, did I drop something else? Yeah, hang, hang on. I know, I'm kind of a little bit of a cluster right now. Hang on, I dropped one of these and they're precious, right? So anyway, Steve die cut and embossed all the rest of those for me and I was like, what? I wish I would've gotten a picture. But I was so busy that I kind of forgot to take a picture. So I'll take a picture next time. Yeah, Mary, right? Awesome job, Steve. I know, I couldn't believe he volunteered for that. So I have everything cut and ready to roll. And let's see if I can find the card that I'm making, you guys. Um, it's going to be similar to this one. So that's going to be my swap card for the um, Greek incentive trip. Yeah. So I'm ahead of the game. And then I was working on um, the Color Fusers blog hop because I thought it was Monday and I made the card for it and I did, my video was a disaster. I had to do it like four different times, um, reshoot my video. I used the wrong colors the first time and it is a color challenge so I have to use the right colors and, and, and four different videos before I finally got it down. That doesn't happen to me often, but it was just a morning where I was in a hurry. And of course, when you're in a hurry, nothing goes right. And I finally got the video done. And then we had to leave to go to a family party Saturday, um, about 40 miles south of here. And I was like, oh, thank God. Well, later I showed that card to my friend who's also in the blog hop. And I said, this is my card for Monday. And she goes, 
color fusers blog up? And I'm like, yep. And she goes, that's not till July 1st. <laughs> so I'm ahead of the game. Yeah. So I was pretty excited. All right. Um, please make sure you share this video. That really helps me out. The more people that see my video, um, the better everything is for me. I appreciate that. And other things that happened this week, my Good Morning Magnolia um, online class went live on Friday. If you guys aren't familiar with my online classes, um, each one may be just a tiny bit different, but it's basically a file that I email to you. And um, it has eight different cards in it and a bonus project, some framed art. So I teach you how to make a beautiful piece of framed art. And um, the class is $25. Now, if you order the Magnolia bundle from me, you get the class for free. Uh, so, And if you're on my team, this one is valued at $25. Usually all my classes valued at $20 or less, I give to my team for free. Um, but this one I decided to gift to them just to let them know how much I appreciate them. So everybody that's on my team who has placed their very first demonstrator order. So that means if you're new, you have to place a demonstrator order and then everybody got the online class for free. The classes have written instructions, photographs, dimensions, and also exclusive videos for each one of the cards and the framed art. They're super cool. It's a great way to just sit down with a bundle of product and watch the video, cut the card stock, and make all the gorgeous stuff, right? So um, that's, on my, that's on my blog, www.stampabove.com. Over in that right-hand column, you're going to see an online class. Click on that button, and it'll show you all my online classes that I have available. I have some for $20, some for $25, some for $7. Um, there's a whole bunch of different classes there. And then I have to tell you, I was looking through Facebook to see what was going on and what was happening on my business page. And I read, um, you know, the graphic that I share saying I'll be live in 15 minutes or I'll be live tonight or whichever one you happen to see. Nancy Volds, you little stinker. Nancy, she wrote, sharing is caring, running naked is daring and illegal, young lady. <laughs> That made me laugh out loud. It was so cute. So thank you, Nancy, for that little giggle. And then one other thing. Um, I had a no contact order on June 13th. And what that means is somebody, when they set up their account, they chose the no contact. And that makes it so I can't know who you are. Like it sends me an email saying that you have gotten an order, but I have no information as to what your name is or anything else. If your order was $196.49, I would certainly like to send you a thank you card for that, but I can't because I don't know who you are. So if you are watching me, please contact me. My email address is kelly at astampabove.com. Let me know who you are and let's get this account fixed so this doesn't happen again. It's just so frustrating um, for me not to be able to thank you properly. So, okay, winners this week. We have, um, for commenting, I have some more candle embellishments. These candle embellishments are self-adhesive. They come in gold and silver, and they are absolutely the funnest little embellishments. And our winner for that is Marie McMillan from Texas. Congratulations, Marie. If you're watching, I will be mailing these out tomorrow. That was for commenting. Then for sharing, I have... Jeannie Comis from Menasha, Wisconsin. Jeannie, you're going to get a pack of this delightfully detailed laser cut specialty paper. And I will actually see Jeannie tomorrow night for Stamp Club. So I will bring this for you. Yay! Thank you for sharing. And then for orders placed this week, we have a winner. And I am giving away the Incredible Like You Project Kit. This is a pretty sweet little project kit. I do not have the stamp set to go with it because that was separate, but I think you can use any greeting set that will fit. It's going to be just fine. You're going to love this. And my big winner is Francis Wilson of Nevada. So thank you so much for your orders, everybody, for sharing and for commenting. That gets you in the drawings. So don't forget to do all that. I'm going to set this right back here so I do not forget about it or lose it. And I've already got addresses and envelopes ready to go. 
I am on top of things. So I'm trying to get all my ducks in a row because we're leaving on Friday for Nashville. I'll be back late Sunday night. So I will not be live next Sunday and I'm not really sure what to do. I don't know if I have time to do a Facebook Live not live, but that was kind of my intention, you guys. How would you feel if I did a Facebook Live on Monday night instead of Sunday night? What Facebook Live not live? Facebook Live Monday night instead of Sunday night? And I'm not guaranteeing any of it. <laughs> because my life has been a little crazy lately. Um, let me know. What would you prefer? If I were to do one or the other, what would you prefer? I would love to do one or the other. And we'll see how my week goes. Coming up this week... Um, I'm going to try to get all the cards from tonight onto my blog tonight. So it'll be there tonight or tomorrow morning. And then on Wednesday, I have a great tip video coming for you. On Thursday, paper pumpkin. Oh my gosh, you guys. My paper pumpkin is here. I can't hardly wait to start playing with it. I did open it up. If you've never gotten a paper pumpkin, it comes kind of like a gift from Tiffany's. I mean, we've got this pretty little blue tissue paper. Everything is in the box that you need except your scissors and your adhesive. And so here's our cute little stamp set. Yeah, we're um, using Coastal Cabana Ink Spot for this kit. You get at least one or two ink spots in each kit. And they never duplicate within a 12 month period. So you'll collect a lot of these little ink spots and they're wonderful. Um, I'm seeing Monday night, whatever works for you, whatever. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Thank you. Um, and then here is the kit. And look at these fun summer cards. And you get this little, whoops, this little container you can put them in, a um, little holder. This is kind of a neat way to throw them in your purse and give them out to people as you're out in public. Do you ever do that? I do that. Like, I really do that. Um, I give out cards to people who have done something nice for me or if I run into somebody like a cashier at a store and they're just like, oh my gosh, it's just been the day from hell. I'll give them a little card and brighten their day. Why wouldn't you? Marie, how are you? Um, okay, did you hear that you won? Yeah, Marie, you won. You won um, the candle embellishments. Where are they? These cute little candle embellishments, I'll be mailing them to you. I just saw Marie. Come on, you guys. So sorry about that. It's kind of like squirrel. So anyways, here's the new paper pumpkin kit. Now, Thursday, I will be involved in a blog hop where I share alternate ideas using the paper pumpkin kit. So while these cards are fabulous, Stampin' Up! tells you how to make those. I'm going to make different stuff with the things in this kit. So, and it's, it's kind of neat because in case you don't like what comes in a paper pumpkin kit, this blog hop gives you a ton of different ideas. Plus, if you subscribe to Paper Pumpkin through me, I send you a file with 15 or more different alternate ideas using the monthly kit. That's for all my subscribers. It's my gift to them. Ooh, somebody just asked something about the Greek Greece trip. Can I do that? Oh, I can. Look at that. I can make the messages scroll. Will I be off? Um, actually, yes. It's going to be longer than that. So here's what's happening. Uh, let me grab my little calendar here. So I'm going to be in Nashville next weekend. And I get back late on Sunday night. The following weekend on Saturday, July 6th, I'm leaving for Greece. And I will not be back until late the 14th. So it's kind of a long spread, right? You know what? I'm pretty sure that I'm going to get a Facebook Live not live done um, or I'll do it on Monday night. But either way, you guys, I'll let you know. So, yeah, I'm going to be gone for two weekends. So that makes it really hard, right? I don't want to miss you guys that. I would probably go through some pretty severe withdrawals. <laughs> okay, paper pumpkin kit. I don't want to get that too far from me so I forget about it. Um, anything else happening this week? I don't think so. Oh, Friday. Totally Techniques blog hop. This is one of my favorite. This is a global blog hop. There's one demonstrator from each of the countries. I think there's like eight of us. And um, the technique is going to be no line water coloring. I've never done it, but you're going to see it. So make sure you watch for that too. Okay. I think we're ready to turn the camera around and start stamping. 
Do you guys want, let's see, to, tonight I'm using the Back on Your Feet stamp set and making some super cute cards. I'm also using the Floral Essence stamp set and making some pretty floral cards. What do you want first? I'm going to turn my camera around. You let me know which one you want first, and that's what I'll do. Yeah, it's like, um, select your own thing tonight. <laughs> okay, hang on, because I need to unmirror my phone. Oh, look at that. That was not the button I wanted to hit, but it'll work. And now I need to unmirror my phone. Hang on. Um, this is the button I wanted for that. All right. Get this straight here. There we go. Okay. And I, I am plugged in. Oh, my cord. Hang on. I got to unplug and redo. Otherwise, my cord will be in the, in the screen all night. We don't want that. Okay, floral, floral. I'm seeing floral, floral, floral. Okay. Oh, lots of floral. It's floral, you guys. Um, I'm going to pop this up here. Yeah, this is what I'm using. Can you see that? Now, I've heard from several of you something weird's going on with Facebook because when I turn my camera around, you can't hear me very good. And I'm only sitting like this far from my phone when I sit down. So... I am going to stand up tonight and see how that goes. I'm kind of lazy about stamping. I like to sit down when I'm stamping on my butt. Yeah, that's right. So we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna pull the um, whoops. I'm gonna pull the Facebook Live up on my screen right now, so I can monitor questions a little better. So hang tight. While I do that, here we go, and I need to make it bigger, and there we go, yay. Okay, there we go. I know, right? Somebody just said too many weekends without Kelly. That's why I'm pretty sure I need to do a Facebook Live, not live. But what I'm going to do next, I'm going to come on on Monday. Um, I'll do a Facebook Live on Monday evening, and um, yeah, it's not Sunday night, which I know is our preferred time, but it, it's better than nothing, right? I'll do a Facebook Live on Monday night instead of Sunday night. Okay, I am going to show you this paper for real because while this is beautiful, this is, to see the whole thing, is crazy amazing. And we're going to be using the Floral Essence stamp set tonight. This is a really pretty stamp set. And it has a punch that's called Perennial Flower Punch. And it goes along with this flower right here. So, can you see that? I know it's kind of glary in my lights. Um, let me set this back here so it doesn't, like, shine. Oh, it's still shining, isn't it? Usually if I prop it up a little bit. Oh, well, I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to bring out my stamp set. And, ooh, this beautiful ribbon, you guys, is so, so pretty. I know it was on back order. I'm not sure if it still is. But if you order it, it'll come when it comes in. It's still orderable. And then we have these super cool perennial essence flower centers and they're self-adhesive and they're fuzzy. They're like little fuzzy flower centers. I think that's, they're super cool. All right, let me get that closed so I don't spill them. Along with this suite of products is the vellum and this is colored vellum. It's called Perennial Essence Vellum Cardstock. It's thicker than the cheapo stuff you can buy at the big box stores, so just know that. And it comes in petal pink. I think this is Old Olive and maybe So Saffron. I didn't look at the colors. Yeah, pretty cool, right? So you get three different colors of this beautiful vellum. I didn't use the vellum on these cards, but I'll show it to you at some point in the future, I'm sure. Uh, you get 12 sheets, so four sheets of each. That's a lot of 12 by 12 vellum, right? Yeah. All right, let me set this down here. And I'm going to move my phone over just a little bit so that I can see those comments coming in. If I'm going to stand up and do this. Oh, my glasses don't really like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, here comes our beautiful paper. I had to show this to you in real life. Now, here's all the coordinating colors with this paper, 
right? Oh, and a little piece of my hair. That's good. We have Balmy Blue, Blackberry Bliss, Blueberry Bushel, Calypso Coral, Crushed Curry, Flirty Flamingo, Mossy Meadow, Old Olive, Petal Pink, So Saffron, and Whisper White. All of these colors are listed on the back of our designer series paper. So right underneath the name is the colors that coordinate with it. So if you ever have any questions, they're also listed in the catalog. But look at this paper. It is two die for gorgeous. I love this green. I just, I tried so hard to use this today, but it didn't go along with the whole flow of what I was doing. Look at how pretty that is. My goodness. Hi, Kim Loper and Jill. Absolutely beautiful. This reminds me of a galaxy. Like you could do some cool galaxy cards with this. And look at how pretty that is. We're going to be using this one and this one tonight. I have two cards with these beautiful flowers. <gasps> look at them. Yeah, these are just like works of art. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. Yeah, I'm going to hang on while I grab a little tissue to stop the drooling. <laughs> yeah. Gorgeous. All right, let me get these put away so I don't wreck them. Then um, I'll bring in my cards. So I got my little cheat sheet here. And the first card we're going to be making uses... A petal pink card base. Oh, I'm sitting down again, you guys. Sorry, it's such a habit. I'm going to try to stand up, but I really can't read standing up. I'm reading the screen on my phone up there, and it's not working real good for me. That's weird, right? Um, this is four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. And this is four by five and a quarter. This is a layer for the inside. I've got a three quarter inch piece by four of designer series paper. This is just to decorate my inside a tad. So I'm just going to add this right now. <laughs> Marilyn keeps thinking she doesn't need any more flowers and then Stampin' Up! comes out with something like this. I know. Um, you know what? I gave up on that so long ago because like I totally don't need any other flowers either but it just never works for me. So um, I hate to fail. So if you don't set those expectations for yourself, <laughs> you're not going to break them. <laughs> That's the way I roll, Marilyn. <laughs> I know. Kind of funny, right? Okay. So yesterday we went to the in-law's house for a zero or decade party. My mother-in-law turned 80, my sister-in-law turned 60, and my brother-in-law turned 50. So we had a zero party. It was really fun. Okay, so sit down. You can hear me okay when I'm, I'm sitting right now. Can you hear me okay, everybody? Because I'm not really good stamping sitting or standing up. It's hard for me to read your comments because they're too close to my face. And um, my glasses just don't work well. Okay, next. Here we go. I'm just going to keep stamping. I think you guys can hear me just fine. I'm going to bring in my piercing mat here. Whoops. And here are the rest of our layers. So we've got that gorgeous, gorgeous paper. This is three and three quarters by five. By the way, you will find all of these dimensions above this Facebook Live video or on Facebook. When I'm done, I will put all the dimensions in the description of the video. So you can always refer to that. And then you can also find them on my blog. And then we've got a piece <clears throat> of, um, oh, that's a scrap. Oh, that's a scrap. Never mind. We've got a piece of Whisper White. This piece is one and three quarters by three and a quarter. And we're going to stamp our greeting on there using some Memento Black ink. And I use the greeting, all days are beautiful that begin with you. And you know what? This is perfect because this is a great all occasions greeting. Because I could send this to anybody, right? Absolutely anybody. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in... Oh, let's do this first. We'll keep, we'll keep moving along here. 
we're gonna glue this to an eighth inch bigger panel. So this black piece is one, oh, did I say this? I might have said this wrong. One and three quarters by three and a quarter. This is one and seven eighths by three and three eighths. So it's just an eighth of an inch bigger. And again, all these dimensions will be above this video when I'm done. I go in and change the description of it. Next thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna stamp on our scrap of Whisper White. I'm gonna use the Blackberry Bliss ink with, oh, no, I'm wrong. Petal Pink ink, sorry, jumping ahead. With the bigger of the two flowers, just gonna stamp that right here. Isn't that pretty? Let's close this up because I just see a disaster coming. And let's see. Um, then I'm going to cut it out. This set does not come with framelits, but you can see here that this is a really easy flower to cut out. And I just like to leave a little bit of a white border around this flower when I cut it out. Super easy. Now, if you don't like to cut out, you could use the smaller flower that looks just like this one, and you could just stamp it on this white piece. But I wanted to pop this up. And I don't mind fussy cutting when it's not horrible. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay, we have that. I'm going to take one of these super cool little embellishments. And these again are called the Perennial Essence Floral Centers. And I'm going to put it right there in the middle. Look at that. Isn't that the coolest? And it's all hairy. <laughs> yeah. And then we need some leaves. And so this is what I came up with for my leaves. I'm going to take my Mossy Meadow ink. And this is meant to be the flower. You, Here's what you do with it. You stamp two of these punch them out. I used my bone folder to curl the edges, the tips a little bit, and you set them together like this, okay? So then you have a neat little flower like that. Well, I chose to use this for my leaves. So here's what I'm going to do. I stamped this in Mossy Meadow on Mossy Meadow cardstock, and I'm just going to punch this out just like I was punching out a flower. And I'm going to cut these apart just like this. My husband has the music in the garage up a little loud, I think. <laughs> I can hear it. We have outdoor speakers, and um, I'm sure our neighbors appreciate that. If he's watching, Steve, turn that down. Okay, and then I'm just going to pop these in here. I just want a little bit of green sticking out. What do you think? This is supposed to be a flower. And I thought, well, that'll make a fine leaf, too. A little greenery for my for my pretty little flower. Oh, that one just fell off. Hang on. I didn't push it down enough. I'll have that stick up just like that. So there. What do you think of that? That's kind of cool, right? I love it when you can find other uses for things that were... This was meant for flowers, and I made it leaves. I love that. All right, next thing I'm going to do here, we're going to close these ink pads up so I don't stick my card in them. I can put this on the front of my card. This is another one of those designer series paper that does all the work, right? It's just so incredibly beautiful. Okay, there we go with that. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in this beautiful ribbon. So... I decided to tie a ribbon or a bow up here on the top. Pull this through, make sure I have enough to tie a bow. I could use somebody's finger right about now. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, I'm a professional. Now that I said that, this is not going to work. Oh, it did. <laughs> okay, here we go. So I'm going to futz around with this just a little bit to get my bow to look nice here. This ribbon is really nice to work with. Like it lays nice. Look at how pretty that bow is. Okay. 
And then I'm going to grab my scissors here. I can't wait to show you this next part because it's pretty darn cool. Let me make these a little bit smaller. They're a little overwhelming to me. Okay, doesn't, doesn't that look nice? That's a nice little bow. Now we're going to grab our heat tool. Maybe. Hang on, it's stuck under a bunch of stuff. I shouldn't say that. It's under my binder. Ready for this, you guys? What do you think? Is that not the coolest thing ever? Yeah, I'll do it again. It's nylon. So when you hit it with the heat tool, it shrinks it up like this and I just think it's the coolest little look ever. Yay! I was excited about that. I hope you're excited about it too. I, I don't think, I, I don't know that I've ever done this before, right? Whoa, Amanda says, whoa, I know, it's so cool. Okay, I dazzled you, I'm so happy. <laughs> My goal when I do a Facebook Live is to show somebody or teach somebody something new. And I know I've got a lot of seasoned followers and that is a pretty high order, right? That's a pretty high bill to fit, fill when I have people who have been stamping probably longer than I have. All right, I'm having a little hot flash, hang on. I got a little fan mounted on my big light that I can turn on so that I don't melt in front of you. <laughs> I don't wanna melt like the ribbon. <laughs> okay, and I'm just gonna put this right in the middle of my panel. I put that on dimensionals and then I'm gonna take my flower and add a couple dimensionals to the leaves only. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of glue right here on the middle of my flower and this is gonna go right here. What do you guys think? This is a really easy card, but this was so simple. Betty says, mind blown. Thank you so much. I love it. I love that this ribbon, and I just happened to go, gosh, I wonder if this ribbon would shrink. And sure enough, it did. Okay, hang tight. I've got another really pretty card to show you with this stamp set. So I'm gonna need to clean off my stamps a little bit here. And this one. If, if you're new to me, this is our um, chamois. It's to clean your stamps. If you do a search in my online store, and you'll find that right here, www.astampabove.com. If you do a search in my online store, look for chamois. It is the best stamp cleaner ever. I absolutely love it. Okay, next card. So I got some things sticking here. Hang on. There we go. Ah. Okay. Woo! These are the Noble Peacock rhinestones. I love them. I'm going to set that right there. Move this over. Diana says she would not have thought to do that. I know, right? That's why you watch me, so I can show you new stuff. Okay, this is Blackberry Bliss, and this is probably one of my favorite colors. I love the deep, rich color of this cardstock. Again, four and a half by 11. I've already scored it at five and a half. I'm just gonna burnish it good with my bone folder. I'm trying to keep up on my um, comments coming in. My laptop doesn't like to keep scrolling up, so I have to kind of do that and then I miss some. Okay, this card is not a lot different from the other one. We're just gonna change the um, from portrait to landscape. I don't know what that's called. We're gonna change the, I don't know. But anyways, we're changing things. <laughs> so again, my designer series paper is three and three quarters by five. 
I've got a layer of Whisper White here. Now, I used Whisper White because I thought, wow, that's really going to pop on this dark, rich cardstock, right? And it did. So, white is 5 and an eighth by 3 and 7 eighths. This is the same size as the petal pink card we just made. And then we've got that little white panel. We're going to do the same thing with it. This is three, 1 and 3 quarters by 3 and a quarter. I'm just going to stamp that right here in the middle. And then, this is where it's going to be different. So this was the flower we just stamped on this card. Okay, you can see how big it is. There's a smaller one. And I'm going to use the smaller one in Blackberry Bliss. And I'm just going to stamp that right here on the bottom of this layer. Okay, one thing I wanted to show you. Um, if you watch my tip videos, you saw me use this cleaning pad. This is a brand new product from Stampin' Up! And some people don't like that our red inks will stain the stamp. So you just touch them in here, and while it won't remo remove all the pink, it will lighten it considerably. So if you're one of those people that doesn't like when your um, stamps get all red because of red dyes, this is called the cleaning pad stamp cleaning pad and again you can look it up right in my online store just look for stamp cleaning pad and it'll pop up but that's what that's for me I could care less like that is the least of my worries but some people really don't like their stamps to stain okay this little tiny piece I'm using petal pink in here I'm going to stand up so I can as my friend Dina says stick my butt out and see what I'm doing here that fits right inside of here. There's a bunch of those little centers. We've got this one for this flower, this one for this flower, and this one for this flower. So that's really cool, I like that. They give us a lot of options there. Okay, I am going to again throw this on an eighth inch bigger piece that is um, Blackberry Bliss. I couldn't think of the word. It's like, come on, Kelly, think. Get that straight on here. Again, I'm going to do the ribbon thing. By the way, if you buy this entire bundle, let me show you that. If you buy this entire bundle, it comes with, you can get the whole bundle for $68. It's on page 107. You get the stamp set, the punch, the paper, the colored vellum, the ribbon and the flower centers. Yeah, pretty cool, right? Okay, um, gonna do the same thing here with the ribbon. I'm gonna tie it in a bow. I'll give you a replay on the, on the ribbon shrinkage. I don't know why, I just came to mind. I was watching, I'm, I'm really kind of a weirdo about TV and I like to watch um, Naked and Afraid. I don't know, it's, it's a weird thing. And um, do I have any Naked and Afraid fans? <laughs> so I was watching Naked and Afraid right before I went live. I've got like 19 of them on my DVR. Yeah, I'm that person. And the guy was walking through the, I don't know, Amazon rainforest. And, and he's all alone. And he was whining about his bug bites. And he said that he said the bugs were biting his giblets. <laughs> oh my gosh, I almost peed my pants laughing. Okay, here's our cute little cute little bow. And then again, I'm just going to trim this off. There we go. You like the sound effects? Kind of funny, right? There we go. Okay, and get this, get this situated where it belongs. Yeah. Oh, I just saw a mad face. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And again, I'm going to hit this with the heat tool. Now, I bring in a pokey tool just to, so it doesn't keep flying away from me. And you don't want to stick your finger in there because this heat tool is so hot. This is our old heat tool. Our new one work does the same thing. It's just that um, it's packed up for my classes this week. So my old one is sitting right here by my desk all plugged in and ready to roll. There we go. Just like magic. Okay. And then I'm going to add the dimensionals here, because why wouldn't you, right? 
pop it up, make it just that much cooler. Use those dimensionals. You get like 250 in a pack. Get them out and make them work for you. Oh, Sharon, I'm so sorry that you're sick. Sharon has not been feeling well. She's been sick for a couple weeks now. Makes me sad. My daughter Haley is sick right now. She's probably going to the doctor tomorrow. We're, we're going to Nashville on Friday, and my kid is sick. I feel so bad for her. Okay, now this one, um, well, I guess I could put that up here if I wanted to, but I didn't want to cover up the pretty, and I'll show you the other one I made. So I kind of just put my little panel right over here instead. So this one was in the middle. I put this over here because I wanted to see this beautiful paper. And then I've got these Noble Peacock, um, yeah, what are they called? Um, rhinestones. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to do things and think at the same time. And I thought that these kind of burgundy or pink ones would look really nice on here. So I just brought in, and I always do this in odd numbers. So I'm going to do three. What do you guys think? Is that not pretty? Now, I had someone else who said to me that um, sometimes the the video is not completely clear and that's a Facebook thing it, it, it is what it is it's the nature of a Facebook live and she said I wish you would have held the card up to the camera so I could see it well I don't always remember to do that but you will always find photographs of these on my blog and I can guarantee you that you're gonna get a crystal clear photograph and you're gonna be able to see all the details so once I post this to my blog all you have to do is go over here and find that post or if you're watching later on YouTube right under the YouTube video is a see more and when you click on that all this information comes up you'll have information on where my online classes are and also a specific link to this blog post so you don't have to waste your time looking for stuff um, yeah so if you ever have a hard time seeing because the quality of the video isn't that great like on my screen right now it's a little blurry these will always be on my blog and you can see them and they'll be crystal clear. So just a little hint for you. Okay, I'm going to put some of this stuff away. Thank you guys so much for the love. Thank you so much. I always appreciate that. Oh, I said I would show you this one too. So this one is just a different part of that paper. It has a little bit more flowers over here. And I use rich razzleberry for my flower instead of blackberry bliss. Do you see the difference? Yeah. I just, I think these are so gorgeous. And you guys, it's all about the paper. It's like the paper, well, the stamp set's nice too, but I mean, the paper is gorgeous. Okay, let me put this off to the side. I have two super cute cards left. Can't hardly wait. So when Haley, <clears throat> when Haley came over today, I needed to, oh, did I do anything with this? Nope. Hello. How about you finish the card, Kelly? <laughs> Again, I just got a piece of three-quarter inch wide designer series paper. I'm going to take and add a little strip of glue here and put that right inside. So when Haley came over earlier today, I was just going to get started on these other two cards that I was showing you, so I wasn't sure that I would be have enough time to get them done before I had to go live, but I did. I made it work. And, you know, that's what moms do. When your kid needs you, you drop everything with good reason. I mean, let's be real. She came over here and said she was having an ice cream attack and she needed to go for ice cream right away. I said, get real, sister. But, <laughs> right? I mean, with good reason. <laughs> okay, next. Um, hang on, I still got a few things to put away here. Are you ready for a cute cuteness overload? That's what we're going to do right now. Um, here we go. We've got our bojing and some ink pads and some linen thread. And I've got a little piece left over here that I can use. Bring it in the blends. And the 
stinking adorable stamp set back on your feet. I knew the minute I saw this, I had to have it. It is just adorable. And who doesn't love a sloth? And if you notice, he's got his little leg bandaged up. The giraffe has a knot in its neck and the turtle, what does a turtle do when they're on their, on their shell on their back, you know? Hope you get back on your feet soon. So I love the little puns in here. And let's get these out of the way. I've got some super cute cards. Now both of these cards are the same kind of idea, but I wanted to show you two different images and I would have done three, but well, you know what? Like I said before, kind of ran out of time. I'll do more with this set, you can be guaranteed because it is stinking adorable. I've got gray granite here. Oh, hang on, let me see what my comments are in case you guys are asking questions. If you asked a question and I missed it, please just ask again. Um, I've got gray granite ink here. Granny apple green and soft suede. So, crumb cake card base, four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. And then I've got a whisper white layer for the inside. I'm just gonna set that in there. Again, I'm really obsessed with this um, three and three quarters by five, and then five and an eighth by three and seven eighths, granny apple green. So that's what I've got here again. I'm gonna do the turtle first. And ooh, I need my black ink pad. First thing you're gonna do is put your words in. So we've got, hope you're back on your feet soon. And I'm gonna do this because if I get this crooked or mess it up, I haven't done any other work, right? <laughs> That's always the way I think of it. Here comes our cute little turtle. And we're going to put him right on his back right there. And that turned out great. Okay, cleaning that stamp off. And now I'm going to come in with the gray granite. Hang on just a second. There we go. Now, each time I do this, I stamp it off first. So I'm going to put a little turtle right there. I want this to be very pale. Stamp, stamp off, stamp. Ink, stamp off, stamp. Ink, stamp off, stamp. Ink, stamp off, stamp. Oh, isn't that cute? <laughs> yeah. Look at how cute that is. Okay, then what's left after that is coloring. And I'm going to bring in the bronze marker. This is our stamp and blend marker. And I just decided that I, I spent some time picking out these colors because I wasn't really sure which colors to use for my turtle. So I'm going to do the rim of his shell and then all the in betweenies. And this is relatively easy. The tip of this marker is just the perfect size to get in between. Right over there. Okay, that looks great. Then I'm gonna come in with light crumb cake and I'm gonna color his belly. And the rest of it's gonna be granny apple green. And of course, you guys know that I like to do my shading first with the darker of the, whoops, did you see it? I just went out of the lines. If you go out of the lines, you can clean it up right away. You probably can't even see that I did that, but I did. This is the color lifter, and I just come in and color, 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 and lift that color right off of there. Okay, back with the dark granny apple green, and I just go in and color over the um, shading lines that Stampin' Up! has in each one of these, well, pretty much all over the turtle, I was going to say, in each one of these little squares, but there's shading lines all over this turtle. His legs are going to be green, too, so... Okay, I think, oops, let's do a little bit more there. And then I'm going to take the lighter, and now you blend. And you just keep coloring until you don't see that dark line of green there anymore. And you look like an amazing artist because that's what we all strive for, right? <laughs> we 
hear the squeaks? Does that make you crazy? Like a chalkboard? I like the squeaks of these. Again, just keep blending. I'll bring this up to the camera in just a second. And I know it would be great if I could zoom in, but I can't. On Facebook Live, it's next to impossible. I did it once, but then something happened and my whole feed went down. So I won't do it again. It's really risky. But I will hold it up for you. Let me just get the blending done here. Oh my gosh, he is just the cutest little thing ever, isn't he? Let me stand up. I'll make sure I got him in here. Look at how cute he is. Absolutely adorable. Okay, one other thing I want to do before we're done here, and I put him all together. I'm going to take the layer that's four by five and a quarter for the inside, and again, I'm going to go with the gray granite. And I'm going to stamp off once and put my little turtle right in the middle. And when I write my message, I'm going to write right over the top of that turtle because it's pale. It's just meant as kind of a little background image there. Set that right in here. Make sure I can get it straight. How about that? And then we're going to adhere this. Diane says she's starving. She had a salad earlier, but she needed something else. I had grilled tenderloin steak leftovers from the other night that Steve made me, and then I opened up a can of green beans. Then I'm going to do dimensionals. Why? Because I can, <laughs> and everybody should. It just adds a really cool interest to your card. And when I do a whole card base, I do five, five dimensionals. Stick your fingernail in the middle, push it down. That'll make those edges lift up so they come off really easy if you have a hard time with them. Some people don't have any problems. Other people do. Make sure I get my card on here straight. Stand up so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. And last but not least, I wanted just a tiny little embellishment on my card. So let's see if this is long enough to wrap it around three times. It is. I wasn't sure because this was just a little scrap that was left on my card. This will work perfect. So if anybody would like to get their hands on this bow jig, you need to pop me an email. My email address, kelly at asampabub.com. And I will forward your email to my friend Denise. Her husband makes these. I think they're $10 with shipping. If you're local, they're only $5, but you know, shipping's expensive, I think, I'm not sure. But anyways, you have to email me. Don't leave me a message on Facebook or private message me because I need your email address to forward to her. And then I will forward it on to her and she will get you your bow jig. But they are a fantastic little tool. You guys have seen me use them a gazillion times. Isn't that just the cutest little embellishment, that little bow down there? What do you guys think? Yeah, I know. The turtle is just stinking adorable. Okay, now we're going to do the giraffe. So let me pull out all my goodies here. Here comes another super cute one. I'm going to do the same thing on the inside of this card with the giraffe. I'm going to stamp off once and put my giraffe right in the middle, really pale. I'm using soft suede, again, four and a quarter by 11, and look at how bad that score job looks. I don't know what happened there. Apparently Kelly can't measure. So when I do that, I just kind of pull the ends together and I force a new score line, and it works out perfect. You can't even see the old one, and now my card is lined up properly. I'm going to stick this right on the inside. Thanks, you guys. I see all the love popping up there. Yeah, this stamp set is the best. And who isn't going to giggle? You know, people need a card like this when they're down and out, whether they're sick or they got a broken arm or they had a car accident or they're just getting out of the hospital for whatever reason. Who isn't going to be brightened by a cute card like that? All right, now here's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to take my giraffe. I'm going to clean my stamp first. Hang on. Get the dimensional backings out of your caddy. Here we 
There we go. I am going to use the Memento ink. Ink up my giraffe. We always use Memento ink with um, Stampin' Blends. So if you're wondering why is she using that, that's why. Oh, and I just realized I forgot something. This is light gray granite and my little turtle turtle over here, I just took that and I colored in the bottom a little bit, just like that. Okay? So I'm going to do the same thing over here with my giraffe. I'm just going to give them a little ground there. You saw how simple that was. Then, this is K-N-O-T, not good. I thought that's cute. Now, I got this mounted on my stamp crooked, so I need to look and make sure that this is going to be straight when I stamp it over here. I don't want you to do any more work unless... Yep, I got it straight. Whew. So I mounted it crooked on the label, so now I have to remember that I have to stamp it slightly off kilter. <laughs> yeah. Hey, things happen, right? Now I'm going to go around with that gray granite again, stamp off, stamp my giraffe. This is basically the same card, I'm just using a different animal. And I wasn't really sure that I could do it with the giraffe because the image is so big, but I think I pulled it off quite well. What do you guys think? And I think that's enough. I don't need another one. So I'm just going to set that back in here. Now, I've got Crushed Curry is our cardstock here. And I brought in the um, bronze. Stamp and blend. Gosh, I couldn't think of it. And the lighter of the two, Mango Melody. Here's a little tip for you. Now I'm like, oh my lord, I'm going to have to color in between all of these little polka dots on this giraffe. And I just, when I have to do stuff like that, I just want to poke my eyes out. <laughs> I know, some people really like to do that kind of stuff, and uh, not so much. So, you can color right over all the polka dots with your lighter color because this is not going to interfere with the dark brown, right? And I was like, oh, Kelly, you're a genius. <laughs> I know, I tell myself that a lot. And then we, then we all laugh. Yep, <laughs> all of me laugh. But yeah, you can just color over all of these polka dots because... This bronze marker is darker than everything. Don't forget the little tail and his little um, antlery things. I know that's not what they're called, but I don't know what a giraffe's horns are called. Maybe, maybe they're, I don't know. I don't really care. <laughs> I just care that my giraffe is super cute and that I got his little antler things brown. Because that's all that matters. The hooks, don't forget your little hooks. And this is a really cute little guy and easy to color when you do it this way. I just thought of that all by myself. <laughs> Yay! Okay, and since we did the tail, I want to do his little fringe. Because giraffes have a little fringe, like a little mane, like horses have a mane. I know what that's called. And giraffes have some little hairs all over. Ooh, hang on, I forgot that one. There we go. Alright, then we are going to find our glue. Here it is. This is crushed curry. Again, three and three quarters by five. The crushed curry is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. All dimensions will be posted um, below this or above this video when I get done. I load it, share it onto my Facebook page. <gasps> Look at how cute that is! And then I'm going to do the same thing with the linen thread. What do you guys think? Super duper cute, right? Oh, they are called horns. Thank you, Megan. Thank you so much. I didn't know for sure. So I guess they're horns. Who knew? Megan did. <laughs> That's 
smart Megan. <laughs> okay, here we go. Again, I'm going to do a little triple bow here. And boom. Easy peasy, perfect every time. And then I like to take my mini glue dots and curl them up so they don't stick out from underneath the linen because the linen is pretty small, right? And then this one, I'm just going to put it right down here under. This is not good. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so there's our turtle. Hope you're back on your feet soon. This is not good. And then we've got that inside that is just a very pale, just like we did out here, image. I'm going to get the stuff out of the way. If you guys asked a question and I missed it, please don't think I'm ignoring you. You can ask it again right now, and I will take a look at it and answer you. Now, I had somebody who asked me if I would do, um, I, was, I was taking suggestions last week. And I asked if there was anything you would like me to do. I always appreciate suggestions because I don't always come into every Sunday night or Sunday day, or I should say every Facebook Live, knowing what I'm going to do for you. So I always appreciate suggestions. If you want something, let me know. Um, but somebody asked me to do cards with the cuckoo clock. I do not have that bundle. So I'm sorry I cannot do any cards with that. Are these all in the screen? Yeah, they are. Okay, but um, if you have any, you know, thing that you'd like me to show you how to do, um, it's always really good if you've seen it someplace, you can send me a picture of it. That's a good idea, too, because, you know, sometimes I don't know everything. Lots of times I know a lot of stuff, but sometimes I do not know everything. So, yeah, what do you guys think? Love it. Okay, looking for questions. Hang on, I'm going to scroll up right now, see if anybody... Oh, you guys are so sweet. Thank you so much. Oh, Sylvia has a sloth on her office calendar. That's really cool. Now, make sure, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you guys, I would be happy to send you our new catalog. You will love it. There's always so many cute samples with our stamp sets, too. So if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, pop me an email at kelly at stampabove.com, and I'd be happy to send you a catalog. Don't forget to give me your address, because lots of times people get so excited they don't give me their address. Um, if you'd like to place an order, please use this current host code. There's always a host code shown in the right-hand column on my blog, and you just hop over to www.stampabove.com. In the right-hand column is the online ordering button. Right, I think, below that is the current host code. So um, if you're watching this video later, the host, this host code probably won't work because I usually change it once or twice a month. So, all right, I'm looking for questions. Thanks for sharing. Oh, Karen, you're so welcome. Please don't forget to share. Sharing is caring. And what was that that she said about running naked? Oh, and running naked is daring, and it will get you arrested. That's what Nancy said. I said the arrested part. Nancy just said running naked is daring. Sharing is caring. Running naked is daring, and it'll get you arrested. <laughs> okay, I think I will do a Facebook Live on July 1st. That is my Haley's birthday. So um, I don't know if it's going to be at 7 o'clock at night or if it's going to be during the day. I'm going to have to check with Haley to see what she wants to do for her birthday. July 1st is her birthday. July 1st was also my dad's birthday. And so they had that special bond. They shared a birthday. And then my birthday is July 7th, and my wedding anniversary is July 4th. My husband and I went to Las Vegas and got married there on the 4th of July. Woohoo! And 20, I think we're coming up on 26. Six or 27 years. Yeah, 27, I think, because Haley's going to be 25 this year. So, um, yeah, July is a... Oh, and my brother's birthday is July 11th, so we have so many birthdays in July. My best friend Barb's birthday is later this month, too. Woohoo! Lots of birthdays. I better get my button here. No, I have a lot of birthday cards. <laughs> 
I've already made, I made Haley's birthday card out of a paper pumpkin kit that we got, and so it says 25 on it. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay, um, we've got the floral essence stamp set here that we made those two pretty flower cards with. And then, where did my stamp set go for the, uh, I don't know, I don't know what happened to the other one. How can I lose it? It was just like, I just used it. Oh, well, who knows. <laughs> Does it shock you that that can happen, you guys? I don't know where it went. Do you, do you see it here somewhere? Else? No? I don't know. Anyways, oh, here it is. <laughs> Back on your feet. Floral Essence is a whole bundle of products. It's a it's an amazing bundle. Goes with the um, floral perennial flower punch. Okay. Back on your feet. Super super cute. Can't wait to do something with the sloth. You know I will. <laughs> okay, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful week. Oh, Danelle says that she has a daughter born on the Fourth of July. Uh, Tisha, wishing your mom well. Tisha's mom is in the hospital and she went to visit her. Enjoy Nashville. Thank you, Linda. Um, I'm looking forward to Nashville. It'll be fun. Bachelorette party. Yeah. I've already got some tattoos that say Bride Tribe and we're supposed to put them right here. So it's going to be a really fun time, I'm sure. We're going with some really fun people. My daughter's um, future mother-in-law and... Um, sister-in-law and then the bridesmaids and Stephanie and Anna are meeting us there so there's 10 of us going down it's gonna be a blast oh Betty's 35th wedding anniversary is July 7th happy anniversary early Betty yeah July 7th is my birthday best day ever wait till you see I'll be landing in Greece. Well, actually, we're landing in Barcelona on July 7th. So I'm leaving on the 6th. We'll get there on the 7th. And if you guys think that this tiara is pretty cool, wait till you see my birthday tiara. Because I wear it all day long, no matter where I go on my birthday. Yep, that's the kind of girl I am. <laughs> okay, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to go check on Steve in the garage, see how he's doing, make sure he's not dead or anything. No, I'm just kidding. You know, things things gonna happen in the garage. Um, he's so cute. He was mowing the lawn when it was about quarter to seven. And so he stopped the lawnmower and came in here because we kind of have this little ritual where I always find him in the house and give him a little kiss and say, I'm gonna be live in a few minutes just to let him know, don't come and bug me or whatever. And um, so he stopped the lawnmower, came in the house. I was actually upstairs. I had, I was getting ready. I got out of the shower and and he goes, I came in the house right now because I'm mowing the lawn and I just came in and I'm like, well, hang on. And I came running down the stairs, gave him a little kiss. Ah, that's like true love, right? Yeah, we have this little ritual. And then when I'm done with my Facebook Live, I will go out to the garage and we'll chat about it. Yeah. And did I tell you about the bacon wrapped scallops? I don't remember if I did, but I treated myself and bought bacon wrapped scallops on skewers. There were five skewers of these bacon wrapped scallops. And I know if Bev is watching, I know I'm not supposed to eat bacon, but it was what it was. And they were like 17 or $18. They were expensive. But I, it, like I said, it was a treat. I don't eat like that all the time. And I put them in the garage in the freezer and Steve took them out. They fell out and then he set them on the cooler and got ice and stuff like that. And he forgot to put them back in the freezer. So he was like, it was so cute because he was like, I'm really sorry, but don't, you can't have the scallops because I left them out all night long. Yeah. <laughs> so he's got to buy me some new ones. They're at Costco, you guys. I think they were like $16.99 or something like that. You get five skewers of bacon wrapped scallops for the grill. Can't wait. Anyhow. Have yourselves a wonderful week. Please check back with me on Wednesday. I have a tip video coming out. On Thursday is the um, Paper Pumpkin Alternative Blog Hop. You're going to love that. And on Friday is the Totally Techniques Blog Hop. It's a global blog hop, and we are featuring no-line watercoloring. I have no idea how to do it, but I'm going to learn. Okay, bye-bye, everybody.